With the coronavirus in full swing, fear and panic have begun to grow. In order to reassure my friends and family back home, I've decided to share my real opinions on current news and my daily life here in China. This is Viral Videos with me, Ryan. Growing up in Florida, I've lived through my fair share of hurricanes. And one of the most intriguing aspects of these natural disasters is how people prepare for them. At Publix, people are stocking up. In some cases, they have to wait for the next shipment of water. The shelves are pretty empty. The reaction to the coronavirus over here has been very similar, especially in Hubei province. News articles have come out about people hoarding produce or other essential goods out of fear that the virus outbreak will persist. Michael, one of my good friends, lives near Wuhan, and I was worried that he might be having some problems getting groceries. So I gave him a call. Hey, how's it going, bro? What up, dude? Good to see you. I just got back from the supermarket. Really? That's what I was calling you about. I was actually pretty curious how it's oh, been like over there. Perfect timing then. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty normal. Like, now it's pretty much the same um, as it's been before this outbreak. But, um, like, the first day or two, it was a little bit difficult to get, like, uh, okay, I'll show you here. So it was a little bit difficult to get fresh veggies. Yeah. So, but that lasted, like, a day. So after really the first day of craziness, then it was really easy to get veggies and even bananas. But the prices have been pretty much the same. And if you watch my first video on my trip to the supermarket, you can also see that the market downstairs is fully stocked and running normally as well. This got me curious. How exactly is China continuing to feed its population during this disaster? For those of you who never paid attention in world history classes, China was considered an agricultural society for a very large part of its past. But over the last several decades, the country has become synonymous with production. We don't really hear much anymore about China's agriculture sector. However, as the outbreak progresses, news about agriculture, especially vegetables, is updated daily. I've also seen a lot of stories recently about different types of produce being donated to Wuhan from all over the country. So I did some digging, and what I found was really surprising. China leads the world in vegetable production, growing around 500 million metric tons a year. Yet for all that cultivating, they're only fourth in exports. This means that China keeps a large percentage of all the veggies they grow. But why? The answer is simple. Self-sufficiency. Over the past 40 years, China has put huge emphasis on being able to always feed its population. And one of the biggest ways they've done this is by something called the Vegetable Basket Project. The country has split its vegetable production up into six regions, or baskets, according to climate and landscape. Each of these regions focuses on growing a different vegetable. Since the outbreak, these regions have continually donated veggies to Hubei in order to ensure that the daily needs of its people are met. Apparently, this virus outbreak will be one of the biggest tests the Vegetable Basket Project has ever seen. It seems to be working well so far, but it will be worth monitoring as the situation continues to unfold. I hope all this talk about produce hasn't turned you into a vegetable. Personally, I find it fascinating but I can get a little corny at times. Safe and sound in Beijing, I'm Ryan, and this has been Viral Video.